there to obtain RevMan so that you could download that and we could start using that software for a meta-analysis. Now I just want to show you how to open and some of the basic features in RevMan. So RevMan is a piece of open software that's provided by the Cochrane Review Group. And the Cochrane Review Group has a very explicit way of conducting systematic reviews and publishing systematic reviews. And this is the software that they use. But we're only going to use it for the meta-analysis component. So there's many aspects included in this that we're not using. So you can see here I've opened Redman, and the first thing you want to do is create a new review. You're going to walk through the review wizard. For the moment, just do an intervention review. Some of you are doing a review of prevalence, and you won't be able to do a meta-analysis in this software. In the next section, this is part of the publishing format, and you can include information here about the question. This is not important, but I'll give you an example. So let's just say you want to write the question about vaccination versus no vaccination for abortions in cattle. It's really not very necessary. You can write a protocol or a full review in RevMan, so pick full review because we want to do a meta-analysis, and then you're done. When you come in, you come into this page, your information will be included. And what you see here is all the different components of a systematic review. Let's just click on the methods just to illustrate. And you'll see that many of the components that we've discussed over the last couple of months are already in here. So there's a place where you can put the criteria for considering studies for this review. And this will be that PICO, participants, intervention, outcomes, and studies, if you had a PICO question. Then there's information about the study search and then there's information about the selection of studies. How you selected it, how you extracted the data, uh, the risk of bias, what it is you measured, whether it's the risk ratio or the odds ratio, and all sorts of other aspects of the review. But what we're mainly interested is in the data section. So down here in the data and analyses, I'm going to walk you through a very simple forest plot. Now I've already started a review package so I'm going to open my review package. You won't have this because you haven't started yet. I'm going to go into data analyses and show you what we can do with this software. So what I've done is just taken the data from one of the spreadsheets that was sent to me and I have just created a very simple forest plot and my data extraction has no information about sources of bias or subgroups. It's just an example. So I'm here in the data analysis section. I'm going to click on this side menu and you can see here is one of the comparisons that I'm going to use and you can see it's a comparison of the prevalence of brucellosis in cattle compared to buffalo. Now here I say I've got ELISA based data but that's actually not true. It turns out when I made this example I used all the data and we'll show how we can change that. So notice each time when I want something underneath or that's, that's buried within a section I just click on this side triangle and that brings me up to the next spot. So here's my data and I'm going to click on, double click on this and you'll see here, here is the meta-analysis that I've already performed. I'm going to walk you through this section of the meta-analysis in one video, then I'm going to walk you through the forest plot in another video, and then I'm going to walk you through the heterogeneity section and the analysis in a third video.